The 4x1 Relay is the epitome of speed. Four speedsters partner with each other to outrun everyone else. And for three of the sprinters on the team, it takes out the zero from the acceleration point with the baton, seeing that they are basically running flying sprints. As a result, 4x1 split times show more of an athlete's top speed. Top for the USA. It's Jamaica all the way. Jamaica first across the line. And in 2022, Sharika Jackson introduced us to a new level of anchor leg running not even Carmelita Jeter could in 2012, when she brought the USA team home to a new world record time. Jeter's split of 9.70 seconds was seen as the most terrifying anchor leg sprint in the history of female sprinting, and justifiably so, because it did result in a world record. At the time, only three other women in history had splits recorded that were in the 9.7 regions. And these were legendary figures Evelyn Ashford, Merlin Audie, and Gwen Torrance. However, there was one special leg by French legend Christine Aaron that stood above all these women. In the summer of 1998, Aaron was having the season of her life opening with a new national record of 10.95 in the 100 meter. She ran multiple sub-11s that year, then went on to break the European record with a scorching 10.73 seconds in Budapest, Hungary to win the European champs. Three days later, Aaron on the 4x1 anchor leg got the baton in third, and looking very relaxed, with her flawless looking long strides, passed everyone who was in front and charged through the line to win the relay for France. This, that was just not on. It was not on. Experienced athletes around the stadium are standing up and looking at, well. Her split was an incredible 9.67 seconds. And for almost 24 years, that remained the fastest anchor leg by a female sprinter. That was until Jamaica's Sharika Jackson, in the final of the women's 4x100 meter in Oregon this year, was forced to chase Twanisha Terry. And even though she barely missed out on getting the gold after making up a huge gap, she surpassed Aaron by running 9.66, now the fastest anchor leg in history. Seeing that she is the fastest woman alive over 200 meter, the speed is justified and exposes her supreme top speed, but more than anything, shows her potential over the 100 meter in the years to come. We have seen a drastic improvement in the 200 meter, and in the future years, seeing that she has great top end, we'll try to develop her other skills to possibly complete a full takeover of female sprinting. Russia Smith is heading for a medal. It's the win for Jackson. She gets the gold. 